Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360 and this slightly interesting shape, not very something very complicated but somehow you can get stuck on shapes like this and you look at it and looking at what do we see? we see your outer cylinder, we see a flat face here we see a flat face at the bottom and then we have this interesting combination of a helix sweep and a cone that goes up to one point but it follows a helix around here so looking at this a couple of things of course i need a helix and i like to do them using surface tools and this shape here this face or this cone helix thing is a bit hard to make with solid tools so okay i decide i want to do this using surface tools i decide what tools i want to do the next thing i want to look from which direction do i get the most information and if i turn the part in uh, this direction I basically get all the information. I get the full height, I get the diameter, I get the start point and the end point of the helix, and I can see it's this flat face here. So the sketch I'm going to create is going to be from this direction, the direction where I can see the most information. I can make it in one sketch or multiple sketches. This, that's not that much information here, so I put everything in one sketch. So I have a new design here. So to create a new sketch from the front, like this. And basically, first step one, I want to create uh, the flat face here. So let's go back here. We're going to make a rectangle somewhere like this. I'm going to make some more lines. This here is going to be the extension of a cylinder down, down to the ground plane. So I'm going to pick up that and over to here. I will not do this face here. So I'm going to turn that into a construction line. So it will just help me to see where things is. I can, I could add an extra construction line here for visibility or I can simply do a coincident between this line and the center point. Uh, this line here is of course a center line. I might just as well use the center line function. Gives me some extra things with dimensions which it's going to do now. I'm going to then mention the full height. Let's make it uh, 65. I'm going to dimension the diameter. The good thing here, using a center line, select the center line, and here in Fusion will give you the diameter dimension. It would be 90. And I'm going to make this here, let's make it 15. We have a fully defined sketch. That's good. Uh, that's all we need to sketch. I'm going to finish sketch. And I'm going to start, just go back to the model we had. I'm going to start with this strange face up here because that will take the most work. And it's like a helix here. So step one, create the helix. Or helix. Uh, let's see, we're going to do a sweep, surface sweep. Uh, make sure chain selection is turned on. The profile is going to be the line here or the line on the top. The path is going to be our center line. And we need to twist it 360 degrees, and that is the wrong direction. So I'm going to go back and do minus 360 degrees. Hit OK. So now we have like an auger shape or helix shape going like this. So this does not really look like the shape that we have here. It goes up to a single point. And the easiest tool to create something going to a single point is a loft. So we're going to do a surface loft from make sure chain selection is off so we only select the helix or the helix shape here and the point up here and we got this nice shape gonna hit ok the first tool the uh, surface body we made here is of no use for us now so we're going to remove it highlight it right click and do a remove we are left with this face so we're going to add the rest of the faces we're going to patch up this rectangle here it's overextending beast, but I don't care for now. I'm going to do a revolve and it does the wrong selection. I want to select myself, remember, remove profile, remove chaining. I only want this line out here. The axis, of course, is going to be the center line. So I get this cylindric shape here. I'm going to hit OK. What we could do now, we could do some surface trimming and do other stuff like that, but there is a nice little tool that i often forget to use and that is boundary fill so what i now need to do i need to select all the tools that are enclosing the shape i want and i made a mistake on the revolve you can see the revolve has got go all the way down so i'm going to do console go back to my revolve and make sure i select the full profile all the way down to the ground plane here hit ok now it looks much better let's go back create boundary fill 
and make sure I select all the bodies. One, two, three. I still don't get any cell. That's because I don't have a bottom of a cylinder. But the good thing, I can use a plane. And like that, we get one mark in here. So we're going to do select cells. Click on this. And we have like this solid body here. And the good thing now is we can do remove tools. If you click that, hit OK. It cleans up and removes our surface body. And leaves us with sweet only the solid body. And of course, we can do show dimensions. And we can now play around. Oh, that was only supposed to be 45. Or the diameter is supposed to be 120. That is supposed to be 5. And by that, we have made a solid body. Quite easy thing to do, but I just want to share it. Hope it can be useful for some of you. So with that said, hope to see you around. Goodbye.